afternoon, ladies and gentle guardians, Vic showing here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new exotic sword from the Duality Dungeon, Heart Shadow. Um, I think it actually looks pretty cool. I somehow got lucky enough to get this on my first try, I don't know how. I heard the drop rates actually weren't too bad, um, but let's take a look at this, shall we? So we got Jagged Edge, increased damage at the cost of sword ammo. Burst Guard. Sword Guard has maximized efficiency and high resistance but low endurance. Then we got Shot in the Dark. Remaining Invisible grants this weapon increased damage for a short, uh, for a brief duration. Hitting a target with this weapon's projectiles while Shot in the Dark is active weakens them. Alright. And then we got down here. Heavy attacks made with full sword energy turn you invisible and fire exploding void projectiles it's actually pretty cool so you're gonna see when i do use my heavy attack it's gonna release i got a heavy brick right there luckily it's gonna release a fan of kind of void balls almost like axiom bolts and then they're gonna explode and i don't know what i just blew up <laughs> but but yeah so it's looking pretty cool and i believe they track as well so if i have shot in the dark active um Let's take a look here. So I believe, it, it, it was a little bit, it, I had to go through some mental gymnastics here to understand how this sword worked. Um, but yeah, so hitting a target with those while Shot in the Dark is active will weaken them. Okay? And then also if you hit said target, you'll become invisible, which also gives you increased damage. So what essentially what's going to happen is, I'm going to use, and keep in mind it's only going to weaken them if you have the full uh, sword energy down there. Um, so you're going to hit them with the full sword energy, that's going to as a result weaken them, then Shot in the Dark is going through proc, and you're going to be doing more sword damage. So let's see here, just a little test, how much does it do base? It's going to be doing 19,000 and something, kind of missed it. Um, so I'm going to run up, and I'm going to use my heavy attack, which is going to make me invisible and weaken her, him, we're going to see how much it does. Alright, Shot in the Dark is proc. And it's going to be doing 27, 5, 5, 8. All right, here. Give me a sec. I'll cut back to you guys. All right, so we are back. Shall we test these numbers? So I believe it got bumped up by roughly 7,000 or 8,000 damage. We're going to run up to him. Do it again. All right. So pretty healthy damage there on the heavy attack. 27. Yeah, so it seems like the, the buff lasts for quite a while. And then it drops back down to 19,000. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a pretty fun weapon. You can see it's actually pretty nice for Ag Clear 2. It requires using your heavy, but, I mean, they track pretty well. There's a pretty good spread of projectiles there. I like the weapon. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I haven't done the math, but I'm guessing that damage buff, uh, with the, the debuff and the, uh, the debuff and the buff, that gives you about a 20-25% increase, is my guess, uh, based on the... About 7,000 extra damage, but I think it's a cool weapon. I do think it'll come in handy in solo play. That's for sure. You'll be able to deal some pretty good sword damage in solo play. Um, now, whether or not it's going to be, like, fully, you know, prevalent throughout the season is quite unknown. It's just kind of interesting they made it Void, considering last season was Season of the Void, and this season is Solar, right? So you think it'd be Solar, but, um... I don't know. Will it be useful? We'll just have to find out. I do think suppressing them is going to be quite useful, and the increased damage when you're invisible and everything is quite nice. The only thing I'm wondering is you get the increased damage when you're invisible, but then obviously you attack and it makes you uninvisible, so you don't get the benefits. So, I mean, you get the benefits, it's just um, you don't stay invisible. And if there's a workaround for that, I mean, please let me know. I'd love to know it. But I do think running the sword will probably be most beneficial if you're on a void subclass but um now i did uh actually just now came to mind um there is a mod in the new in the season pass that actually allows you to weaken targets with a solar grenade so whether or not that will kind of make this thing uh still worthwhile using we'll have to see but i do think it could be a fun little sword for solo play for sure and i do think it looks really cool so uh, there you guys have it. That is the Heart Shadow. I think it's a really cool sword. And I'll just have to continue playing around with it for a little bit more. If there's anything I missed or anything, you know, any nitty gritty particular stuff I didn't, uh, you know, address, feel free to let me know. I'd actually love to know because I'm still kind of figuring this thing out myself. But uh, there you guys have it. That's the new sword. Hope you guys have a great day.